Today I have another sewing vlog for you and I'm joined with my lovely friend Sam who is on hey FaceTime. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm on my knees, I'm on my hands and knees. Oh, <laughs> hello! So, um, we are actually going to be making something together. We wanted to do a little joint sewing make today. We're going to be doing the Peppermint uh, Paper Theory skirt pattern which is their latest free pattern on their website. Um, as part of their latest issue, which is really cool. Um, Sam's already made it before and it looks awesome. I can't wait to, to make my own. It's an elasticated waist skirt with big pockets at the front. I'll put a little picture here so you can see um, the diagram of it if you haven't seen it before. And I'll also link it in the description box below so you can go and download it for yourselves. It's a free pattern, so um, you can just go ahead and download it, but obviously you can also give them a little donation um, when you download it as well. Um, just gives them some support. And yeah, we're going to be making it today. I've got this uh, lovely little denim fabric from New Craft House. I've had this sat in my stash for quite a while. And I was going to make a Tilly Buttons bobby skirt, but I thought this skirt looks really, really nice. And because it's midi length, or you can make it longer or shorter, um, I thought it would look really nice in this, and I'll get lots of wear out of it in autumn winter. So yeah. Well, um, what did you make your one in, Sam, your last one? Um, so, I've got it on actually. Oh, it's cute. A... Hang on. I'll have to, sh I'll have to no. show you the... <laughs> this is really good. Like, um, it's like a mid-weight chambray, about 4.5 ounce denim. And it's got the best of pockets ever. Cute! You guys are just popping into the camera. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Everything I mention in today's video will be in the description box. And I have new videos every Sunday on my channel. So yeah, we're going to get straight on into it. Nice try, Paigey. I know, I thought I heard the kettle going. Must have been my... Do you know, my granddad is deaf as a doorpost, but we can hear a champagne pole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So the pieces are all cut out and I'm ready to sew. My phone just died so I was in the middle of talking to Sam and yeah it died so um, I've just set my sewing machine and my overlocker up and I'm gonna start sewing. This make is quite simple to do but it is the first time I've made it so I'm a little bit unsure on the instructions and stuff but it should be fairly straightforward to sew together and I'm gonna call Sam back in a second she's gonna help me which is great and yeah I will sort of show you the process of it but again super easy and it is free i know i've mentioned that but um I just got another free pattern See your day again. yes my phone doesn't like being apparently doesn't like facetime it doesn't die for any other reason but facetime it's like nope can you do it on your laptop uh i could do but then i've got to make more room on my desk oh yeah <laughs> um but anyway i was just saying to the vlog that uh, we're about to start, well, I said I'm about to start sewing, you've already started sewing. Vloggy, vloggy, vlog, vlog. Hello, vloggy, vloggy, vlog, vlog. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, um, I don't actually have I any instructions. Which done is that I'm just like. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, I don't actually have the instructions in front of me, so I'm hoping that uh, my fairy godmother here will uh, assist. Yeah, well, first of all, we need to do the pockets. Pockets, pockets first, okay, I'm gonna turn you that way. Pockets, oh what, put those from the the bottom bit? Yes, okay. so the bottom bit of the pocket to the top bit of the other pocket. Okay. Oh. have got both bits there, I'll show you. Yeah, so it's this one, I still haven't altered it, I've just remembered I've got to do that. I gotta cut it off and I gotta take it up an inch. What would I do without my Sam? Read the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which... Well, we haven't had a song yet, have we? I know, we haven't. Normally, normally it's, um, well, last time it was Sash. watermelon sugar. Don't start that song off because it gets in my head and it No, I was about to sing sunshine through my window. Is it that? Is that the, is that the yeah. words? That's what you are, my shining star. 
Making me feel I'm on top of the world <laughs> Telling me you go far Last time I, I had a, we'd been singing Watermelon Sugar and then he put it on video and I was like, yes. <laughs> Hello. And I did a Watermelon Sugar video too. It's all good. So you know that the the bottom panel, yeah, so. it's the top bit because I've pinned it where I know the top is yeah. to the so bo the no bottom of that one. Yeah, there should be a little notch in the middle. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah. Right then, let's do this thing. I'm gonna have to wash so this. So we start for wearing proper. Yeah. Because we'll fluff. I hate all this fluff. I mean, I'll do a video with it on, but the fluff I just can't deal with. <laughs> I can't deal with the fluff. Right. I can't deal with no fluff. <laughs> Let's see how this fabric sews together then. Let's hope it's nice. Let's hope it's nice. Let's hope. Fingers crossed it sews together. And it's all just 5 8 seam allowance on this, isn't it? One centimetre seam for... <laughs> good job. It's a good job I'm here. Yeah, man. So one centimetre for this pocket one, yeah? Yeah. Maybe we should just get the instructions up like a normal person. Mm. But as you're here with me... Instructions are for losers. You've got a stamp. <laughs> I've got my fairy gold mother. My fairy sewing mother. Oh my God. Hamilton has literally been in every sewing vlog for the past, like me singing it for example, has literally been in my, every single vlog of mine for the past like two, three months. <laughs> I've sung a song from Hamilton. I feel like now that you've mentioned it, it would be rude for me not to sing it. Yeah. <laughs> the song in my head of the day is uh, one called Yorktown, which you wouldn't know because you haven't seen it yet. No, I'm, I'm saving it for the day. Yeah, good shout. Hey guys, Future Paige here. So I just wanted to quickly insert a bit of footage to say that actually in the next clip that I'm about to show you, I get this step wrong and it will teach me to not read the instructions myself. I just like took what Sam was saying and I just winged it. Um, and I ended up matching my pockets up to the wrong notches. Even when I was trying it on me, I just didn't even realize. I just finished the, finished the entire make without realising that the pockets were really low down. You could probably tell by the thumbnail, to be honest, and in the, the finished result, you'll see my pockets are so low, so unless you've got super long arms, <laughs> um, don't do what I do. Read the instructions, little uh, lesson learned there. Cool, next step is, Sam's about to tell me. <laughs> no. Now what we, have you done, both the pockets are sewn in? Yep. So, right, so. Now we fold the pocket up. To the notches? Yeah. But you'll notice the pocket doesn't sit flat, it sticks out. Okay, cool. Let me try that Let now. Let me see. I'll, I'll, I'll pin it and then I'll show you. I think I know, I think I can see where it goes. Can you guys see? That is the pocket. Da, 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 da. Sam? Yeah, that's it, baby. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. So if you put, it's just if you put it flat, the pocket doesn't sit. Yeah. The seams don't line up, so, but that's perfect. Cool. Yeah. There you go, guys. Yes. That's how quick yeah. it is. You can see my little underworkings there. And we have a pocket, so I'm just going to stay stitching those on the side, yeah? yeah uh, just, just basting down the side. Yeah. Uh, but, like, make sure it's less than a centimetre, so, like, half a centimetre. Yeah. Sam's just gone off the phone now, but I thought I would check in and show you where I am with the make. It comes together so easily, um, it's amazing. So I thought I'd show you. I've got the back panel here, 
with one of the pocket panels um, and hopefully you can see that, I'll put it in the light, there you go. So you can see that nice pocket panel there, nice deep pockets and then that's the back panel. Um, so now what I'm going to do, because I actually want to top stitch this in a like golden coloured thread. Um, this is just a normal thread, you can get obviously nice thick top stitching threads but it works just as, as nicely um, with normal threads, it'll be a bit more subtle, it won't be so like stand out. Um, but I'm going to top stitch it with this and I thought it would look really cute because it's denim, it will give it that kind of classic denim look. Um, and yeah, I just thought it looked really nice, so I'm going to do that. But I'm, first what I need to do is stitch on the front panel, so we've got the front panel here. Looks like this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch that on. And then once I've done that, I can do some top stitching. So Sam was recommending to me that I top stitched these two bits first. So these seams and then the one to the front panel. As it's open, it's a lot easier to get it through your machine. Then sew on your other pocket panel and do it again. And then it's, you've only got to do one top stitch with it as a tube. And I, it's kind of hard to describe, but as soon as she showed me hers, I was like, okay, it makes sense. Um, so yeah, top stitching is obviously optional. I'm doing it just because it looks nice. It's a nice design feature, but you can like just go about doing it, especially if you've got like a um, a printed fabric or something. You don't actually need to top stitch it at all. I just thought it'd look quite nice on denim to do that. Um, I'm gonna sew these bits together and then I'll probably just uh, check in when I'm doing the fit of the elastic. Hello, so I wanted to show you the fit of the skirt before I put the elastic in. Hello, Starbucks drink. Um, so here is the fit, as you can see it's got to be fairly oversized so you can fit it over your hips. Let's not let that slip so you can see my pants. Um, and actually, so if I just hold it gathered so you can kind of get the effect of it. Imagine it's all like, you know, got its elastic waistband or whatever. It's going to look really, really nice and the length is nice. I think I actually might do a big chunky hem on it, like an inch hem with like the same top stitching. Um, as the top stitch I've done, I'll show you it in close up in a second. I think that would look really cute, like a big chunky one. Uh, bring it up a little bit higher as well, because at the moment it is a little bit long for what I want it. Um, it was actually an inch shorter on the pattern anyway, because um, I didn't have enough fabric, so I had to um, take it up from the pattern. But I think by the time, so say that's like that you've got your waistband in there I don't know actually because by the time we've got my waistband in there it's going to make it higher so we'll see what it looks like when I've done that um, so yeah I just need to move on to put the elastic in which is um, a pretty easy process and then I can hem it and we're pretty much done um, let's show you a close up in the light my skirt um, so here's a close up in the light of the top stitch as you can see it's like really really subtle but it goes all the way down those side seams uh, another one there. I just think it looks um, really nice, just adds a bit of detail to it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the waistband now and I will show you what it looks like. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing mine and Sam's skirts. They were so easy to make. However, I did make a boo-boo with the pockets. <laughs> um, you probably could tell straight away, but um, yeah, my pockets were way too low and it will teach you to take instructions through FaceTime with Sam because I didn't look at the instructions. I just was like, yeah, yeah, I know how to do the pockets and I just matched up the notches in the wrong place. So my lesson is learned. I will still wear the skirt and I still think it's really cute but the pockets are so low that I can't even reach them. So yeah, lesson learnt there. But I highly recommend the make. It's really easy to do and it's free. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I don't know what else to say because I'm super tired today. But yeah, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.